Okay, here's how to set up some pressure sensors in the dash logger software. I notice here I'm running version 1.25.0. Uh, as far as I know, that's the latest one, or at least the latest one I've got. So you might double check, make sure um, that what you've got is similar. Um, so when you're, of course, when you're connected with the dash, it'll say online here. Make sure you see that. Um, first up, we'll go to onboard I/O. You'll see our onboard inputs, and then these are all the analog inputs. So you'll just have to look and see which one you've got wired into what. Uh, typically, you know, fuel pressure we normally like to see is like number one. So you know, maybe for one fuel pressure, two for oil pressure, three for your nitrous. Uh, and then we'll double click on function, and then for input type, we want to choose pressure. Now in 1.25 it makes it pretty simple because there are presets here. If you scroll down you'll see the fast 100 PSI. So just click on that. That pretty much sets everything to exactly what you need. You'll notice our voltage curve. Uh, 1 volt equals 0 PSI. 5 volts equals 100. And then to make your gauges look good you could say you know, fuel pressure. And then fuel here. Now as far as these values over here, um, we want to use gauge format. Uh, that's the way a like a 0 to 100 pressure sensor is going to work where for instance a map sensor would be absolute. Um, and then on the lower pressure ones make sure you choose the lower unit range here. And then always hit update before you go to the next one. So then basically analog 2, exact same way. Um, choose pressure, and fast 100, and then you could make this say oil pressure, alright, and update. Now, say for three we're going to do nitrous. So, very similar to the other ones, we'll choose pressure. Now here, because we're using the 1500, we'll have to use 20, 0 to 2500 for our gauge look. And then notice the unit range. And this one pegs at 936 PSI, so we'll need to go to the second range. And then this one's going to be gauge pressure as well. And then We'll use the uh, 1500 PSI, and then basically just rename it. And I hate to do NOS, but everybody knows what that means. So you can't write out nitrous, you know. Ah, we'll do this better too. Uh oh <laughs> Alright, so that pretty much covers that. Now, to give you a rundown in case um, you didn't have a preset, so we'll just use analog 4 as just because it's going to be empty. If you didn't have a preset, it's still fairly simple to set up. Just use pressure. And then what we can do here is set our range. So on a 0 to 100, this one would be 0 volts, or excuse me, 0 PSI. This one will be 100. And then we can just click right here, and that will highlight the whole line. And then right click and choose linearize. And then do the same thing for the voltage. So here we have 1 volt for our 0, 5 volts for our high range click over here where it says voltage then right click and choose linearize and then finally oh and this one would be gauge oh, okay well if you choose that make sure you get your display format and unit range first otherwise it'll mess it up so then once again um, 0 100 click here right click linearize and then the voltage down here stayed correct, so we're good. Update, and that's it for pressure sensors.